What's up guys? Quick update. Don't want to bore you. I just want to show you the clip problem is not a problem anymore. Or it's taken care of. Okay. So you can see I've milled out an area for that clip to sit. So now when the knife is closed it is completely flush. In that area around it, I'm going to fill in with uh, just a little bit of epoxy, so I wanted to go a little bit bigger than my clip backing was. So where I got this piece from is just the back piece of the liner. So there's your liner. Okay, and you can see this is ground up a little bit. Because a quick tip, if you're following along at home or you're maybe going to tackle this project, which is completely doable, you know, with just a Dremel and... Uh, when I'm I'm starting to swedge this top too, that's just going to take a while because I don't have a proper grinder. Not swedge it, but round it off. That's going to take a while. But anyways, um, put your screws, since you're not going to use your liners anymore, when you shorten up your screws, because of course I had to shorten these clip screws and the other screws. Well, I don't know if these top ones are threaded. They're not. You're not going to be able to do it for these top screws. But if you're following along at home, or you're going to, for the clip screws, these are threaded holes, obviously, because that is why I had to do this, to bite down into there. Put your screws, one at a time, just one, screw it down into your spare liner that's going to get thrown away. That way you have a holder when you're grinding on it, and you're cutting it. It doesn't get hot, plus uh, when you back the screw out to take it out to put it in here, and that straightens the threads back out and you won't have to mess around. Those threads on these tiny screws are pretty delicate. So what that does is uh, when you back this out, it straightens up the last like starting of the, the screw threads. Hopefully that made sense, but that's a pretty big tip that will save you a lot of time when you shorten these screws for your clip. Use, use your liner as a holder and it doesn't matter if you scratch it up or whatnot because these will get tossed. So yeah, there's where this back part come from. I just cut it off. And another tip. Cut off this back rounded piece first. Cut it back here. Shape it all the way up here. And then cut it off. That way you have this whole big handle to hold on to as you're cutting the cone part off here. That way you're not holding a little part and trying to, you know, straighten it out. A lot of guys who, you know, work with Dremels and stuff know, know this, but I'm sure some people that might be a little helpful. Alright, and then the next one, I had seen a comment on the last video that, um... What are you doing? Making a little video, honey. Alright, so yes, um, that is the original pivot in there. It has been shortened perfectly and honed. Hopefully I can get this to show. Maybe. So uh, I left just enough on there to catch this washer. So now when that other G10 comes down on top, that bearing still works just like it would from factory, from Spyderco. But I had to shorten it, you know, because we took up uh, that thick of liners. So roughly this much thickness come off the side of that pivot. Other than that, the knife will still be pretty much the same. Still have to shorten up that lanyard too. So pretty much just cosmetic stuff that I want to do next. So there's the lanyard tube all shortened up. I still have to flare that out. Because uh, the Mannix is held together in the rear end pretty much with this tube that's flared out on both sides. So this is just through there right now. I'll flare it out after I get done rounding this G10 a little bit. I think I'm just going to melt just the very edge all the way around with maybe some 800 and then maybe a 1000 grit sandpaper. Just to kind of match. I've started on my top spine here. I'm going to round that off, kind of like a Sebenza. And then I refinish the blade. But pretty much the whole knife is in working order. Got the clip on it now. Let me 
Here's the action. Uh, just like a stock one. Very fast, very light, blade centering. I don't know if that's coming through. Dead center. Very thin. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out and coming along the journey with me. Uh, I got one more video left, and that'll be when I have all the cosmetic stuff done. And I expect I'll be carrying this knife a lot more now. It wasn't too heavy, but it was heavier than my Sprint Manix, too, so uh, this definitely solved that. Cool stuff. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. See ya. What are you boys doing?